Welcome to the Fusion Production tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to take you through the creation of workstations and work cells. So to create a work cell, navigate to the manage page using the sidebar. This displays a list of all the previously created work cells. Work cells are optional, and if you choose not to use them, your workstations will just get added to the facility name itself. By selecting create, you are prompted to enter a work cell name. And that's it. If you've made a mistake and would like to delete a work cell, just hover the mouse over it and select the X. Now to create a workstation. Select workstations from the top menu and you will see a list of the workstations you've already created if there is any, as well as filtering and sorting options for easier navigation. There are two methods of creating workstations. The first and most simple is to select the create button. Here you can give your workstation a name. This is usually the name of the machine or the name of the equipment used to complete the task. Next, you can go ahead and select a work cell that will contain this workstation. Adding an image will make it easier for users to recognize the workstation and details can be added in the form of text or attachments. Once you're happy with the information you've added, you can save the workstation. You will then get an opportunity to print the associated QR code. This can be used in conjunction with the mobile app. The other actions icon will provide you with the opportunity to edit or delete the workstation. The second method of creating workstations is to import a CSV file. This is the best way of creating multiple workstations at once. After selecting import, there is a sample CSV file to help you with formatting and an instructions document for more information. Please continue watching the videos in this series for more helpful information about how to use Fusion Production. Thanks for watching.